Hello YouTube, it's Immobilize10 here and here is a couple of fun duels on Duel Network and sorry I'm just typing back to this and I'm going to be using my Blue Eyes deck as you guys can guess I'm just going to record a couple of those and I'm also going to record a couple of um, fun duels with my Heratic deck as well so you guys can see that in action on Duel Network I can tell you now the deck is now almost complete just need one more card, hopefully we'll arrive at the post tomorrow, so we should see a deck, a real life deck version of the Heratics coming up soon. So, here we go for Blue Eyes White Dragon deck, now let's see how we're going to go about this. Alright. Just going to set those two, that's actually not a very, that's a very good hand I would say for a first turn, but I want to keep the Blue Eyes for something. Um, you probably have noticed I have changed a few cards in the Blue Eyes deck anyway. Aww. Um, and there will be a deck update coming with that soon. I've only made like really small changes, but that's because of lots of testing. A dragon deck as well. Ah. <laughs> don't know if you guys can hear any music in the background or anything there but I'm just listening to a couple of tracks from Transformers the Fall of Cybertron game for the PlayStation 3 which I got my boyfriend for Christmas I've always liked Transformers I have to admit uh, Generation 1 and Transformers Prime are my favourite series that I've enjoyed so far Right, let's go main phase one. Target that. Very good. Could be that. I have blue eyes attack now. Mean, as you guys know. Yep. Now, I have to admit, that's something you don't see a lot of players do now nowadays is double checking if effects and that are okay because obviously, um, well, in the actual tournaments and stuff, like official tournaments and everything, you have to do that sort of thing. Uh, obviously to make sure the opponent's got response and the game state and everything doesn't get too badly affected by mistakes and stuff like that. On Duel Network you don't see that as much, people just try to assume. But it's always good to ask your opponents and double check because you never know, even though you guys can see I'm playing Blue Eyes and you know I don't run things like Max C and Effect Failure and everything, you know the opponent doesn't know that, especially if they haven't dueled against me before. It's always a good idea to check, just in case there is something you, they can counter with. Right, what next song to choose on my MP3? I think we'll go for some Nightwish. Because I really enjoy Nightwish. Yeah, I have heard about their new singer as well. Um, I can't remember her name, but apparently it was a backup singer that they had for Annette. And just to put my views on the singers of Nightwish, I like all the singers that have come out so far. I really enjoy them. But Nightwish is one of my favourite bands. And, oh dear, <laughs> I haven't seen that card, I, l I actually like that card. Alright, so we take, this is going to be interesting. Ouch. Okay, two grave, no damage taken thankfully. That's fine, that means I've got a totem in the graveyard now. and. Trying to choose what I want. I'll go for Everdream because I absolutely love that card. Everdream by Night, which is my absolute favourite song in ever. I've got like seven, eight different versions. Like I've got remix versions and or orchestral versions, instrumental versions, karaoke, the original. I've got a speed up version by Nightcore. It's like wow. Right. Fortunately, this is the only thing I can do at the moment. Two phone sanctuary is not too bad, but that's okay. I 
have to admit, three Totem Dragon and three Photon Sanctuary in my deck works far too well just because I've got so many uh, high levels. You know, I've got three Light and Darkness and three Blue Eyes White Dragons. A lot of people keep saying, you know, maybe two Light and Darkness would be better, but I think three is better because obviously it means I get to use them to maximum efficiency, especially with the three Totems and the three Photon Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Uh, do I want to keep those? I think I'll just set one just in case I need to get a bluff going. I borrow your grace, never felt away with me. Just once that all I need, entwined in finding you one day. Never felt a way without me, my love in my soul did ever dream of me. <laughs> Exploder Dragon again. Ugh. Yep. I'm going to take 14 from this. I have to admit, I really do miss Exploder Dragon. I would love to keep using him again and again, but sadly... Sadly, unfortunately, I don't have any room for him. I mean, he is a good little card. I would love to use him again, but... Right. He's just such a good little card in all dragon decks known. Hmm. This is really interesting. Dragons versus dragons. I'm just wondering if what kind of dragon deck he's running. Is it like a? I'm just wondering if it's a basic dragon deck or is there? Is it like a theme deck with themed deck or? I don't know. Haven't seen anything just yet. Tour guide. Oh dear. Yep. Okay, dokie. Is it going to be a number 17 or is it going to be. Oh dear, Zen means. <sighs> I have actually considered using this card for my Blue Eyes deck, but when I put Totem Dragon back in, that's just like a no go. I mean, it's a good, it's a good card and I agree it's got a very good effect and everything, but it's just a absolute pain in the neck when it's used against you. Mash Dragon, not bad, especially since how he's on his third, if I believe. Just have a look. Yes, that is his third, so more than likely he'll summon out something else. That's fine. I'm gonna go straight into the battle phase and attack Mash Dragon. Right, what shall I summon? More than likely he's going to summon out something else, but I don't know what to summon. Hmm. That unfortunately cannot be used as a synchro material, so I can't choose Delta Flower. So just on the safe side, I think I'll just go for another Mash Dragon, to be honest. I'm just gonna, hang on a minute, I'm just going to see what he's chosen. Hang on. Um, yeah, I'll just go for Mash Dragon. I would do White Stone and everything, but I'm not going to. Aha! Divine Dragon Apocalypse. Fair enough. I believe that's. Go away, notification. Right, I can't do anything else for this turn, so I'll just end. <laughs> Hmm. She's probably looking for a possible dragon to bring her out. More than likely, it might be Exploder. Oh my luck. 
but I've got Booger Moon face down. Yeah, I've been a bit, I have to admit something, I've been a bit dithering, dithery about the Book of Moon card. I mean, it's a brilliant card. It has really saved my backside in quite a few situations and all that. It's very good for getting rid of annoying monsters as well, to some extent. Um, but I've been taking it in and out of the deck recently, but I really shouldn't be doing that. It's just far too good. But then again, there, is quite, there are quite a lot of um, decks out there seen on the OCG on OCG website and also on like um, TCG player and everything where some a lot of decks don't actually use Book of Moon because I think aha white knight dragon I haven't seen that card for a while basically a crystal blue eyes white dragon if I think about it just with a water tribute and the spell cards negate the activation right. Dodger Dragon, that means not counter traps cannot be summoned, that's fine. You can overlay for a rank 4 if you wanted to. More than likely it will be something like Utopia or something. Or you might even go for Queen Dragoon, because technically you can do that, but you wouldn't be able to attack if he does revive the White Knight Dragon. Okay. Hmm. What's it going to be? Or is it going to be Catchy Kochi Dragon, which is another very good rank 4 dragon? But I highly doubt it. No, it is Queen Dragoon! I was right! So that means we're going to see a White Knight Dragon appear on the scene. That is pretty awesome. Okay. It means its effects negated. I believe that's permanent. So in other words, if it gets targeted, who are you attacking with? That's fine. So that's 600, 800. That was very, very close. I nearly pressed the wrong button there. I'm very, very bad for doing that. I've got a Tom Warner going to the graveyard, and I've also got a Photon Sanctuary. So what do I want to summon? As I said, I can't. I would summon out Delta Flyer as well, but I can't use the token as a synchro material, unfortunately. So I would just be on the safe side by summoning a White Stone of Legend. <laughs> I have to admit, for a beginner, he's actually pretty good. I will not lie. <laughs> right. I've got a Blue Eyes in the Grave. But I've got no way to attack at the moment. Got a set book of moon and that's it. So do I want to keep Vanguard? Right. I think this card will be destroyed. More than likely he's gonna attack for both times. I'm just gonna check his graveyard to see if there's any others. Nope, there's no other dragons in there. He can't use Queen Dragoon's effect, but he could switch this to attack mode. Just to be on the safe side, I am going to set vanguard. Probably not the best idea, but I'd rather be safe than sorry, especially since if he does decide to summon out another dragon or switch that to attack mode. Thankfully I've got this <laughs> Book of Moon. Hopefully that'll help me. It's always good to compliment. Uh-oh. Um... Ooh. Right, I know this probably won't work very well, but I'm just going to chain it anyway. Chain it to the White Knight Dragon because I hate. I <laughs> don't want to be in front of that card. Oh, I just realized something. I've just reset it. Crud. Oh no, Book of Moon. Not quite sure why he's thanking me. <laughs> and I felt away without me. Yep, he switched that to attack mode. I thought as much. He didn't flip up White Dragon. Why? 
Okay, to grave. Um, to hand. There we go. So that's blue eyes back in my hand now. Unfortunately, I can't special summon light and dark monsters, but I do have a totem dragon in the graveyard, which means. Which means that obviously I can get blue eyes back, and since it's an earth attribute, it can get around Quackimero, thankfully. Are you attacking? Yes, he is. So I can't use Photon Sanctuary, unfortunately, but I, but I do have a totem dragon. I'm actually very glad I didn't resurrect it. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Right, stand by. Totem. This unfortunately means this Totem Dragon is going to be banished, but that's okay. Apparently it's an official ruling. You have to tell if Totem Dragon is tributing for one or for two, because obviously otherwise the opponent can't counter in case it is... Now, I'm going to attack the White Knight Dragon. I could attack something else, but the thing is, even if he could easily flip it next turn and smash into Blue Eyes, or but with, if he uses Queen Dragoon's effect, it's it can't attack that turn. So I'm safe for I would be safe for another turn at least. So I would attack it again and use up the last material on the Queen Dragoon if he does decide to use its effect to bring back White Knight. I'm a bit worried about where's all my draw cards and everything. <laughs> right, I'm gonna stop listening to Ever Dream. That's kind of distracting me now. Let's decide on something else on the MP3. Ah, uh, the Amber Math. Night Wishes Amber Math. I love that song. Yep, that's fine. Yep, I thought as much. That's time used up the last effect. So if White Knight goes again, there's nothing. You can't revive it. <laughs> Oh no. This is going to hurt. Now, what's he attacking with first? 19, probably 15, and 22. Ooh, this is going to hurt. Ah, there we go. There's something I was going to mention which I actually completely forgot about. Um, is... Hang on, I'm just going to check my... Right, I am going to lose this duel, unfortunately, but that's fine. That does not bother me in the slightest. There's That was something I wanted to mention to you guys, is um, some people have been asking me, you know, why do you put up duels when you lose? even when you lose, because there are some YouTubers out there who just put up um, who put up duels of them just winning all the time. And, you know, but, I mean, that's fine, fair enough, that's their choice. That's showing them how th their decks can win duels and everything, and I've got nothing against that. Some people just do it because they want to show that they win all the time. There are some people who are like that, unfortunately. However, I put up both when I win and lose because obviously I'm not afraid to show that I can do my best, I can do my best and all that, but sometimes you need to show that duels won't always go in your favour unfortunately, but if you have fun during it then that doesn't really matter if it wins or loses. I'm really enjoying this duel, I mean this is quite, this I think this is a relatively long duel, I'm not too sure, I'll need to look at the timer, but I'm really enjoying this, I mean this is, a, he, the, he, this person obviously is a beginner, they're actually a very, very good player. Yep. 3k to the face. Ouch. <laughs> oh well, I lost this one. But anyway, that was a fun game there. I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next one. Actually, he's made a rematch, so I'll just continue. Oh. Oops. <laughs> right, that'll do me fine. I don't side, as you guys know.
yes. <laughs> now this is the kind of duelist I like dueling against, you know no complaints or anything, really enjoying the game. Right, let's get actually get onto the main phase and everything, onto the duel itself. Right, not bad, I can get out of first turn lighting dart and dragon if I so wish, but I'm not going to do that. Right. Dark hole. Another pot of duality. Light and darkness. Right, someone's thinking. Right, I'm definitely going to put that into my hand. Rather be safe than sorry. Unfortunately, I can't get out a first turn light and darkness dragon, but that is completely fine. Alright, I know he's got three MSTs, so I'm not going to put anything down just to be on the safe side. Um, anyway, just going back to an earlier topic, what I was saying about uh, losing a duel and why I'm not afraid to put up on YouTube. I, I, get, I do get a lot of people ask me that, and it's like, you know, I'm not afraid to show that I do lose, but I still have fun when I'm losing. I mean, obviously, I when you, if you lose, you learn from the mistake and it makes you better, eventually. <laughs> it takes me a couple of tries, I have to admit. But I'm not afraid of losing, you know. If it was a life and death situation like it was in the anime, obviously that would be much, much different. And I nearly added the wrong card there. Oops, the daisies. God, I love armor math. Right, now if I so choose, I can go first turn lad, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yes, I'm going to go white stone in the graveyard, but that's fine. <laughs> Is that a magic? <laughs> I'm so glad I got rid of that. I'm going to keep the blue eyes for later. Now I have to admit something else as well to you guys, so oh, Light and Darkness Dragon, I will not lie, I used to not like this card at all, especially when it was used in the Frog Arc format, when um, you know frogs were abusing left, right and centre, and they were using Light and Darkness Dragon, sometimes on their first turn and all that obviously, to lock down the field and everything. I used to hate this card, but now I absolutely love it. It is such a good card. And it's so compatible with my... Um... Okay. That's fine, that's an effect, so that's a summon it summons, so that does not cost Light and Darkness Dragon. Negate. <sighs> Unfortunately she's a 23 attack now so I'm going to take some damage. <laughs> Perfectly fine, just special summon the white stone. Defense mode. <laughs> Right. He's got Red Eyes Darkness Metal, so he could easily summon back something easily next turn, but at the same time, do I really want to do that? Oh uh, gosh, I don't know. This is a really difficult decision, especially since I don't have very much in my graveyard. Um. Well, the thing is, you wouldn't. You would have to summon something else because. Only if he normal doesn't normal summon a set, we'd have to do that. So I think a dark hole would probably be my best choice. Okay. Alright, effect, which means I've got the third blue eyes, and I can't seem to spell again for some reason. I've got a real bad habit of doing that on the computer. It's probably because I haven't... <laughs> it's probably because I haven't, well, typed on the computer for a long time, not since, um... I was about to see what happened to the anim animation there. It's probably because I haven't 
used my computer ever since I was a sh well for writing like word documents and stuff like that since uh, my student days when I was studying for archaeology. <laughs> Right, that's enough armor mafra, I think. If we'll go for something else now. Oh, he's setting a monster. He could have got back his red eyes darkness for that. How interesting. Well, I can't summon any of this. I mean, this is what. Remember when I did my deck consistency video, guys? This is the kind of hand I'm talking about when you get all of this lot in your hand and you've got nothing to do about it. <laughs> Oh well. I am really, really enjoying this. Ah, there we go, Mists of Pandaria. If anybody doesn't know, my, know what that is, it's um, the newest expansion to the World of Warcraft. My sister's into that, and she let me listen to some of the cinematic music and such from the games, and I'm not joking, some of the music is absolutely amazing. Very, very epic music, I will admit. Right, here we go. With pot of duality, which I can't do that. My friends, uh, my darkness cell nineteen eighty nine can do that a lot better than me. Oh, thank goodness, monsters! No, do not want another light and darkness dragon. No light and darkness dragon. No, 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 no. So definitely to hand, top of deck. Oi, come here, top of deck, and shuffle. Every day I'm shuffling. To grave. Right, I'm a bit wary of his face down, however. I've got mirror force in that, so I will normal summon. Okay. I've got a funny feeling that's a magic cylinder or something. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. Because <laughs> a lot of. It's actually interesting, a lot of them. Um, yeah, I knew it! Magic cylinder! Ouch! That's fine. Even though a lot of meta players, competitive players, don't use Magic Cylinder, um, those who play like for fun or who are playing like in between or something actually do use quite a few copies of these just because it is an unsuspecting trap card. And also especially with things like Warning and Judgment now at 1 and we're still like semi on Bottomless and some other cards and everything it's actually a good little card, you know, it negates the attack, it doesn't get rid of the monster unfortunately but it does inflict serious burn damage and that is painful, especially since it can end games I mean it has been proven uh... okay <laughs> Okay, that's fine. I said I'll probably try and get one or two duels of the Heratic Dragons as well in action. And ah, uh, hello there, Livier. Okay. I said, and I. Another question a lot of people have been asking me recently, this is just because of obviously my newest subscribers and everything, is um, uh, when am I get when do I get on Duel Network and everything, because I do go on. Well, it's very, very random when I go on, to be honest. Sorry. Senen baria mira forza. Hold on. Hold on. The card is sent to the graveyard. Um, just going to go to the public check.
There we go. Even though I could, even though I could probably understand that pretty that effect pretty well, guys. Um, just double checking, just in case, because obviously there's some wordings that are actually different from others. But it's always good to double check that just in case. Because even at um, well, when we did have the the tournaments and stuff, I really do hope they start up again in Edinburgh because there are some in Glasgow, and I would love to go to them. But my Saturdays. <laughs> But my Saturdays are unfortunately taken up by work, and I very rarely get a Saturday off now, so it's me sad panda. <laughs> right, what have we got in there? I have a white stone, so I could synchro if I wanted to. Uh, I am not going to. I'm just going to normal summon. Battle. Hopefully that's not another freaking magic cylinder, I won't be happy. Aha! So are you going to summon another mass dragon? This might be problematic because if he does have... Uh, he's got three mass dragon whereas I've only got two. That's fine. Attack that. It's always good to try and get an engine going. I've got no more attacks, but I do have Covel Haunted just in case, so... Anyway, if he attacks either one of my mass dragons, I've got several targets to go for. I could go for Delta Flyer, for my, some Synchro effects. I could go for White Stone, but I don't need to because I've already got three blows. So more likely it will be Totem Dragons I'll be going for, because obviously I want to get the dragons out as fast as I can. Auto Duality. Okay, that's fine. I wish I could get my rating in that up a bit better. The one thing I'm not so keen on dual network now is that is that TCG pool that they've got finding someone who's of equal level to you. In some cases it's a good idea. I will agree it's a good idea. It means that obviously more experienced duelists can't take it out on younger inexperienced duelists who are just trying to get their rating up and everything. But at the same time I don't know if you guys experience it as well, but every time I go in, I'm not joking, I go up against nothing but, um, oh shoot. I literally go up against nothing but, um, Element of Dragons, which I don't mind, because I like dragons and I think they're a cool deck after typing everything, but they're blinking over powerful. Or it's the Brotherhood of the Fist, the Fire Fist and that, and that deck, for some reason, I just don't like. It's just, I don't know, I just don't like it. Right. Here we go. That's alright. Right, I'm going to send a blue to the grave. Send Totem Dragon to the grave to be on the safe side because the more Totem Dragons I have in Graver, the better. And I'm going to attribute these two for Light and Darkness Dragon so that way I can resurrect Blue Eyes. Simple, these, see, my deck has very, very simple combos, but it's a lot of fun. Negate. I can't. <sighs> Help. So I'm now down to eighteen hundred, but that's perfectly fine.
I have to admit guys, as I said, I'm really sorry if this is a long video, but I'm really enjoying this and I hope you guys are as well. And it's okay, don't worry about it. Have a wee cameo appearance from my boyfriend, Ginrai Prime. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love him so much. And he's just giving me a cup of tea, which is very kind of him. Oh yeah, just stick my microphone in the tea. That's really clever. You better not be being my grey bird. I will not be happy. <laughs> Aha! Hello! Lad me gates. Again, so I'm going to lose 1500. That's going to hurt. To grave effect, say hello to my pretty little white dragon. For the win, I can't spell. D. There you go, because I'm such a silly person. <laughs> Ah, I've got Totem Dragon in the grave. Do I really want to do that? I don't trust the face down guard. <laughs> um, so I'll keep Alexander out for just as backup purposes. Please do not let that be a magic cylinder. I will be very, very upset. <gasps> okay. Actually, there's another thing about dual network I would like to mention. Um, apart from like going up against constantly against like elemental dragons and the brother fists and that, which I think is, as I said, I think the pool idea is okay, but it could be improved. The other thing I would like is I would like at least a Kasara picture. I mean, why not have as many of the characters as possible, even if they didn't duel? Because obviously, yes, this is dually network and everything, but why not have some characters who are, you know. Normal summon Vanguard. Oh, all right. It's fine. Sorry for rushing. Vanguard unfortunately doesn't get an effect because it is banished. I think this is more than likely going to go into a third game. More than likely. So this is means this will be a very long video for me to upload onto YouTube, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. Main phase one. Ravine effect. Another thing I have decided to do with the deck is I've gone down to two ravine. Now this will be mentioned in the Blue Eyes Dragons deck video that will be coming up very very soon. Um, I'll explain later why. I'm not going to just now, but I'm just going to let you guys know about it just at this point in time. Right, battle. So I've got all three of my totem dragons in the graveyard now, so I should be all right. All right, I think that's enough World of Warcraft. We'll have a look for something else. <laughs> I have to admit, I really do like um, is it symphonic metal or gothic metal? I can't remember. It's it's like things like Evanescence and Nightwish, as I mentioned earlier. That's the sort of thing I really really like. Uh, let's go for Nemo. I love that song. I have to admit, Nemo by Nightwish is really... Just... Sorry. Just... <laughs> Okay. 
yeah, it's just because I do have younger viewers watching this. I try to be not to swear a lot if I can. Oh, how typical. Give a bit if I use this. I'm going to get freaking... I'm going to get polymerization or something. I won't be happy. Shining. Please not poly. Please not poly. Whoo! Forever blue since Definitely special summoning stardust. And let's go. Blue eyes for the win! Yep, this is definitely going to a third game. I don't know if you guys saw there very briefly, but you might have seen I've added in number 107 ta Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. I do not have that card yet, because obviously it's not been released. But I can't wait to get it, because it's literally just the Galaxy Eyes version of the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. This will have to be the last mat last game of this match and then I'll hopefully get one I said one or two duels of heratic dragons up as well, so some more tea. Oh gooey. I don't know how long we've been recording for, but it's been quite a while, I guess. Let's go check. I have no idea how Two hundred. I've got no idea how many seconds that is, to be honest. I'll just have a look. About that. Right, set card. More than likely, it's going to be that bottomless trap hole he's just played. Right. Do I want to go first turn, lad? No. How I wish. I know, very basic strategy, but I prefer to use Light and Darkness Dragon if possible when I have a target in graveyard work. More preferably Blue Eyes with Dragon, but if I can't, then I use the next best thing. But sometimes I will go first turn la Light and Darkness Dragon if I know the deck I'm going up against really goes off explosively, but I'm not going to here. <laughs> Said so Lightning Darkness Dragon is a really good card, just so so good in the middle. Stodger Dragon, how interesting. Alright, that's fine. To grieve. <laughs> oh, my sight went a bit weary there. That's not good. I've probably been on this game for too long now. Oh well. <laughs> right, let's go for me, please. So I get to draw two. Very, very, very good. Right. I'm going to activate that on his very first card because I'm pretty sure that's the bottomless trap hole he set. Yes, I was correct indeed. Oh! <laughs> move, remove. Come past this as me for forever, one without a name. I'm sorry I have to treat you to some of my singing guys, but took singing lessons in high school, but I'm not that good to be honest. Right, battle phase. Uh. 
lad negate. Eh. And I can't spell yes. Look, I spelt use. How stupid am I? <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Yeah, that little ruling there. Um, apparently, lad can only negate once in a chain. I can understand that. Um, but there was also like combos I learned from Dragon Duelist Girl, Amanda Le Pam. Um, she actually pointed out couple of things. She pointed out a couple of combos with Light and Darkness Dragon because she loved using it as well in her own dragon decks. She pointed out like if you use Book of Moon higher up in a chain on a Light and Darkness Dragon obviously it can reset and everything and Light and Darkness can't negate it but if anything's activated first Light and Darkness Dragon has to chain to it so no matter what you do it's negated. Negate. So she's now 1800, but that's fine. <sighs> Chris, you really make a wonderful cup of tea. <laughs> it's just to be on the safe side. I would have negated that. I would have got rid of that way MST, but unfortunately, Lad still has one more countering ability. If it if the ability gets used up next turn, it means my face down mirror force will become very very handy because I've learned my lesson about letting darkness get powered down and not put my mirror force face down. I mean, most of the time it will obviously get destroyed by light and darkness's effect anyway, but it's always good to probably set a trap like that. With or set some kind of backup with light and darkness because you never know when it will attack. Right, I'm down to 1300, so more than likely. Right, so I lose 100. Shows is going to be blue eyes. There you go. Right, main phase. And activate that on that because I don't trust that card. <laughs> now this is a combo. A certain someone I have dueled against doesn't like at all. Having a blue eyes white dragon is bad enough, but having a light and darkness and a blue eyes white dragon on the field. Yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> this is me for Bus. Nope. Negate. So light and darkness is already down, unfortunately. T eighteen hundred, that's fine. I don't have any other valid targets except for I think Totem Dragon and White Stone. Cause l some people say you can't light and darkness like get just 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 Light and Darkness destroy your cards first, then says Resurrect. No, Light and Darkness has to choose a monster in the graveyard first, then destroy everything on the field. So if so unfortunately it wouldn't work with the blue eyes combo, sadly. Right. Normal summon. 
Just gonna double check if that's okay. Okay. Battle. Attack directly with light and darkness first. More than likely, that's gonna be something to negate. Is it? Yep. Stays on field. Please, blue eyes for game. Wow. That was amazing. That really was really good. I really enjoyed that. Thanks. Sure. Right, I'm just going to add this young person as a friend on my thing, so I'll do that in a moment. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that, because I really did. That was pretty, pretty good. I really enjoyed that. I'm sorry this is a long video, but this was an epic match, and I really enjoyed it. So, anyway, guys, take care. See you later. And thanks again. Bye.